Hey guys and welcome to today's episode where I'm going to show you how you can basically make any laptop virtually silent or as silent as you can possibly can set it to be. Well, just using something which is very basic and it's called, well, fan curve. You don't have to use G-Helper for this, basically Armory Crate can do the same thing for you if you're running Asus or any other third-party software. Even the BIOS if you'd like, you know, you can set fan curves in there as well. But whenever you're changing power settings of your laptop, that definitely can affect the fan curves on the BIOS. So you can do so regardless of make and model using basically any third party or application out there that basically, well, it's compatible with Windows. All right, so this is my main screen here. You'll be doing me a solid if you want to maybe subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of videos up here, so feel free to check them out if you so wish. But let's carry on. So this is G-Helper, and as you can see, I'm running this uh, Zephyrus G16 with it. And I basically have it now set on optimized because I have to use something that's called OBS to record the screen while doing so. But otherwise, you'd see me using something like Echo, which basically just disables the direct GPU or the GPU. It just uses the APU or the GPU that's included on your CPU to be much more efficient, but not all that powerful. You have here on the right hand side corner something that's called fan and power. And if you go ahead and click on it, I'll expand the view here. Yes, you can see a lot of settings, but don't get intimidated by this. So what you can basically do or what I did anyway, you have here your CPU, your GPU, and your advanced options. I will not be going over this in this video. If you want to see maybe how to undervolt your GPU or CPU, you can definitely leave a comment down in the box below and I can do a follow-up video to this one. Let's go over and talk about the CPU fan curves because, well, you have here all your fan curves you can see for the CPU, for the GPU, and for your mid fan. Do keep in mind that, of course, the Zephyr G16 does have a mid fan, which I can hear a lot of times and is really annoying, and that will part of the reason which got me started on this video. Uh, uh, as you can see here we have something that's called um as you can see g helper comes with something that's called windows power mode there's also something that's called cpu boost which you have enabled aggressive efficient enabled there are a bunch of bad variants up here but i just like to keep the cpu boost on and usually i'm running it in silent mode where i have set this preset uh fan curve as you can see right here it's actually a customized fan curve by me and well i have some power limits set in there because well basically the less power your cpu uses the less heat it generates and then and therefore of course the less need for a fan to be kicking on i think it makes sense right so as you can see here the power limits are set uh, to 20 25 and 30 watts depending on sustain load two minutes boost or two second boost and this is pretty okay for my workload whenever i'm just you know browsing the internet and that's more than enough and as such as you can see here the fan curves actually has these little dots so these are the presets for your fan and you have here on the bottom hand side uh, this is the well i say the degrees in celsius and here on the left hand side you have basically your rpm fan so this is your rpm fan this is your temperature right here and i will just start by dragging this as far to the left and as far to the, uh, to the down position as it would go set the next one all the way down and you'll see that the software is basically going to allow you to keep it on well, basically zero RPM fan to at about 70, per 70 degrees Celsius. This is for the CPU fan curve. Now for the rest, well, if you just drag this down, you will see that basically you will be stopped uh, at a position that you can't really go uh, lower from. And that's because, well, there is some BIOS settings in there as well that don't really let the software go crazy all by itself. So there are some limits built into the CPU as well. And I would say that for 99% of the people, if you stick with the CPU values, and you don't mend around in the BIOS settings and you just use these fan curves, you should be more than golden and okay and you won't roast your CPU. I know there are a lot of people there who are going to comment that, oh, basically you're overcooking your CPU and this and this and that. Well, no, I've been using my Mac for about 12 years with something similar to this. And you know what? It's been running smooth. It's still running smooth. It's technically, you know, outdated, but it is still running strong. And I'm doing the same also with my main PC because I really hate loud uh, fan noises and well, it's okay. It's just running hotter. That's it. It's not a problem with that. Anyway, so as you can see, this is my fan curve right here. And well, basically, as I was saying before, I want to be checking out the 90 degrees, uh, well, threshold. And this is just 90 over here where I definitely want those fans to be kicking on a bit more. So probably I'll do something like this where I have it at 40, 4,000 RPM. And then as uh, you know, when I hit 95, I do want it to go up quite a bit. And it, actually, I want it from there to just kick on insanely fast or as max as it can possibly go. Because, well, basically, I don't want to go over 95C, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, so with the GPU, we'll do the same. So we'll just follow along and we'll basically preset the fan curve of the CPU. And basically, we're going to mirror it with the GPU fan curve because, well, this is more or less the same. I mean, they are packed together in a very small space where they basically share the heat pipes or more or less share this, this space at the heat pipes. So whatever CPU is going to do, probably the GPU is going to do depending on the workload. But it is definitely going to spread the heat around. So, you know, the fan curves are going to be similar anyways. Or the temperatures are, which are going to drive the fan curves as well. And now for the big fan here, as you can see, all the way up to 70C, we're basically doing the same. And after 70C, we can set it at 80 degrees Celsius at 2600, 2600, 2600. But as you can see, basically, it is going to differ a little bit does because, well, the fan curve in the BIOS doesn't really allow you to do the same or follow exactly in the footsteps of the CPU and GPU. But don't fret, you can just, you know, eyeball it and it should be just fine enough to use. So if we want 90 degrees C to go with 4000 RPM, then we can definitely do that. And we had here, what, 95 with 5000. Let's do 95 with 5000. 95 with 5000 here. And then we'll just go crazy ballistic afterwards. Anyway, they're similar all in all. And now it's all good and set. So you can go ahead and minimize this. Now it's basically going to be looking something like this. And basically, whenever you're going to be running your, through your silent mode, you're going to have this, well, curve that you can see here. So basically, this fan curve right here will allow you to, well, run your machine as silent as possible for the longest amount of time possible. And, well, if you are anything like me and you are using your laptop, well, maybe late at night in your bed watching something or surfing the web, then there is another, I would say, advantage to this because, well, it will allow you to use your laptops basically silent, which is absolutely great. But not only that, but if you're not going crazy or maybe just doing video edits or just playing on your laptop and you're just browsing YouTube, for instance, or just reading articles or browsing Facebook or, I don't know, doing Instagram, whatever you do, then it is really nice because it's not only going to be silent, but there's not going to be a lot of heat involved either. So with no fans and the lack of heat in the unit, that's basically going to keep things cool and silent. And that's pretty good and okay in my books. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And if you want to see any more, well, tips and tutorials on using G Helper or probably any other software that you might have in mind, drop me down a comment in the box below. And if you're interested in the meantime, maybe you can check out my channel as well. I do a lot of reviews for products that I buy with my own Money and the reviews are very very fair and a lot of people might not like them because well i am too blunt with the truth but hey the truth is the truth and it cannot be altered whatever it is unless there's money involved like a lot of big tech youtubers out there who are taking a lot of money for the sponsorships and basically telling the people whatever the manufacturer want i don't do that but anyway feel free to check out my channel if you'd like to subscribe that would be absolutely amazing and awesome from you guys until the next one, guys, stay awesome. Thank you and bye-bye.